what's up Alana here welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm so excited to share my top favorite red lipsticks for women of color so this is gonna be a mix of like liquid lipsticks and regular lipsticks I don't know I just feel like red lips are so empowering and sexy and if you give the woman the right red lip she can conquer the world okay before we get into the video please take a moment to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss any of my future uploads and don't forget to ring that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I upload a video so I actually have four lip colors to share with you guys today. I did have five, but for some reason I can't find the fifth one. I don't know, I have to figure out which one of my friends stole it from me. Just another tip is you wanna make sure to exfoliate your lips and moisturize them before you put on any lipstick because that is going to help to keep your red lipstick from cracking, from drying out, and from shifting. And we do not want that because that takes away from the whole entire sexy factor, okay? Now just as a little disclaimer, I always like to wear a liner with my red lipsticks. Normally I'll go in with Max Night Moth or Vino depending on how plum I want my red to be. So the first lipstick that I'm going to go ahead and go in with is going to be an oldie but goodie. This is MAC's Ruby Woo. If you have been a MAC fan forever, MAC was like the first makeup brand that I ever bought. This was the ish, okay? Ruby Woo, I think this is my second one that I ever bought in my life and I still have it, which is probably a bad thing. <laughs> this thing has been through it, y'all, okay? The only thing that I really don't like about regular standard lipsticks is that they are so fragile, okay? I feel like I dropped this or maybe I left it in the car in the summer or something and it completely looks like crap now. But it still works, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on. This is my Vino. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips so you guys can see what Ruby Woo looks like. So this is Ruby Woo. I really like Ruby Woo because it does have a matte finish, but it's still creamy. This is, yeah, one of their mattes. And it's really creamy. Ruby Woo does dry and it tends to crack, specifically in the, in the middle. You'll start to see after a couple of hours, it'll start to ball up and crack in the middle and you usually have to reapply it. So I really do love Ruby Woo because I feel like the color is perfect. It perfectly complements women of color. It's like a deep blue based red and it just is gorgeous. Now my second favorite red lip color is going to be Sephora Collections Lip Stain in number 01. I believe this one is called, I don't know what it's called, doesn't have it on the bottom, but it is number 01. I feel like it's called Always Red, but I will double check that and I will list it in the description box below. So please guys do not forget to check the description box because I will have links to all of these lipsticks down below in case you are interested in upgrading your makeup kit, okay? Another disclaimer, you probably should be using a sharpened pencil when you're lining your lips. It will, everything will just come out so much better, trust me. But I'm lazy right now, you guys. I don't really feel like doing it. It's like 11, 12 o'clock at night and she's not here for it, okay? So this is the Sephora collection in number 01, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply this. Okay, and we're gonna give this a second to dry because with the Sephora ones, what I've noticed is that it takes a moment for it to dry down. It does dry down to a complete matte and it does not transfer or anything like that, but it does take a couple of seconds for it to dry down. So we're gonna let it do its thing. Okay, so how do you guys think this one looks? Okay. 
Oh yeah, one more thing that I want to mention about this Sephora 01 is that it is a lip stain, so it is going to stay on your lips for a while. It's definitely not gonna budge, so you're gonna need to use some sort of um, makeup remover to help you get it off. My next favorite red lipstick for women of color is going to be the Lime Crime Red Velvet. This, I think, was like the first red liquid lipstick that I got and I fell completely in love with this. I don't wear it as often as I do Sephora and the last one I'm going to tell you guys about, but this is like top four of my favorite red lipsticks of all time. Now I like Lime Crimes formula because it is super creamy and it smells like cake. <laughs> this color is really rich and it is long lasting. It stays on for a long time and I don't know, I just think this color really complements my skin tone. What do you guys think? And last but not least, now that my lips are all raw, okay, I saved the best for last. My top favorite red lipstick of all time at this moment is Anastasia Beverly Hills in Seraphine. Oh my God, this liquid lipstick is the freaking bomb. I picked it up by mistake, fell in love with it, and the rest is just history. This is my go-to red lipstick whenever I'm trying to be on a thousand that night, okay? So let me just try it on so you guys can see what it looks like. Hmm. First of all, the corners of my mouth is ashy right now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to work through it for the next couple of minutes. Okay, so we're going to let that dry down, but while it dries down, I want to tell you guys a little bit about why I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick and the color Seraphine so much. First off, I love Anastasia's um, Liquid Lipsticks because for some reason they make my lips look more plump, I feel like. I don't know, it could be just something I made up in my head, but to me, I feel like they make my lips look a little bit more full and I don't know, I really just like it. These lipsticks are the most expensive out of the four that I showed you. These run about $20, I think. And I mean, this was the first liquid lipstick that I bought from Anastasia and it was totally Number one, you get a lot in this tube compared to this, which I think is like around $17. And this one, which is I think between $12 and $14. So the amount of liquid lipstick that you're getting in this tube is definitely a lot more than the rest of them. Um, and they're all at the same height. So this one, you can see you're getting a little bit more for your buck. Also, I like the formula. It's very creamy. It really doesn't um, flake up on me. The only time that I'll see it that'll flake up is if I'm like drinking something. So if I'm drinking and like water is constantly hitting it, then I'll start to see it kind of crack in the middle and I just have to go reapply it. But for the most part, this stays on for hours without me ever having to go and reapply. And that is, especially when you're busy, like that is such a benefit. It transfers slightly. I definitely have noticed that on a regular, just when I'm wearing this and I kiss London or something, she will have like, you know, slightly red lips. So I definitely d do see that it transfers a little bit, but I mean, who cares? This lipstick is perfect. I love it. I love the color. I love everything about it. And 
yeah what do you guys think about this color drop a comment down below let me know which one of these lipsticks are your favorite that's all i have for you guys today these are my top four red lipstick choices for women of color thumbs up this video if you want more videos recommending lipsticks and lip colors for people who are my complexion flexing in my complexion oh Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have not subscribed, please do not forget to do that before you leave today. And I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.